obviously we're all excited to be here uh, start of the season earlier than ever for us we open up our first exhibition game uh, Friday night and another one and then open up on November 5th so uh, it's uh, you know for us as a team uh, it's it's an interesting season obviously we lost a lot a lot of points rebounds assists uh, steals everything uh, that you could uh, have to deal with as a coach, but uh, we do have some experience back. Three guys that started on an Elite Eight team, started on a Big 12 championship team. Uh, you know, we are, I, I wouldn't say we're as much a young team as we are a new team. And, uh, you know, we got to go through some growing pro, uh, situations as, uh, as a new team, trying to figure out roles. Uh, you know, who's going to get this, you know, the extra minutes, who's going to be the guy that's putting up the shots. I think my biggest fear probably is more the gut check part of games, the close games. Uh, you know, who's going to make those plays? And in and, and, uh, the last two, three years, we had it went to Barry Brown, it went to Dean Wade. Uh, Cam Stokes stepped up and made shots. Uh, now we have some other have to have some other people do that. So it, it, it'll be interesting. It's fun. We have a great group. They play their butts off. Uh, you know, and, and we're looking forward to Friday night and see what our guys are like in the live competition. If you'll put your hand up, we'll get a microphone to you. And uh, don't everybody put your hand up at once. We kind of startled him, Coach, because we were running a minute late from your meeting. We got a quote, we got a question up here on the front. Luke, if you'll get there, please. Name and affiliation, please. Yeah, Matt Hall cased it online. In a game like Friday, the exhibition with this team, like you said, it's not young, but maybe different and new. What are you looking to accomplish in that exhibition this week? I think the big thing is just get in front of people and, and you know, play against somebody else. Um, you know, each I, we'll probably script the minutes more than anything, I, I, I would hope, uh, you know, to get guys some experience and then, you know, maybe the second one. Uh, try to get into rotations uh, so you're ready for the, the game on November 5th. But, uh, you know, I know they're looking forward to it. We had the live scrimmage the other day before the football game, which was, which was good to play in front of people. When you have new guys, uh, the, the freshmen, and you have guys that are just, you know, they're, they're more in the focal point, you know, they're more focal point of our team, uh, it's, it's a little different. So, uh, you know, I think playing in front of a crowd will be a positive thing for us to learn and grow. Got a question on the front left side. We'll get a microphone to you just one second. She's coming up behind you. Riley Gates from GoPowerCat.com. Uh, Coach, we didn't get a chance to talk to you when the, the polls were out and you know guys come out in ninth in the preseason poll. On one hand, you lost 38 points a game on a team that averaged 65 points a game. On the other hand, you're the defending Big 12 champions. Where do you sit on that? I mean, you know, the predictions, obviously, you know, it's not great for your fans and selling tickets, but at the same time, uh, you know, for us, it, it, it doesn't matter. We, you know, it, it Every year there's somebody that's picked eighth or ninth, seventh, that ends up being in the top of the league, that ends up, you know, Texas Tech playing for a national championship, whatever it might be, that it, it always happens. We were, I think a couple of years ago, we were picked eighth and ended up in the Elite Eight. So, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. It's what happens every day in practice. Uh, our guys' mindset, their belief, their confidence, their growth uh, is, is so important. Other questions for Coach? You're not going to let him get out of here that easy. we got a question on the left-hand side. Bruce Wendell Barnhouse, PressBoxDFW.com. Um, <clears throat> you've had some guys recently, Xavier, the, the latest, go through the NBA draft process. For a coach, what kind of things do you hope that they're going to hear that's going to make them better when they decide not to stay in the draft? I think it it is a stressful situation, and and I and I've you know I keep talking to Xavier about just smiling, enjoying the process, enjoying college. He has a chance to get a business degree, uh, leave a legacy at K State. Um, but at the same time, I know what his dreams and goals are, like a lot of the guys, and and you hope you get good feedback. I think that's the the one thing. I'll get the feedback from the you know from the different scouts or coaches or. Per, uh, player personnel people that I know at different teams but from 
coming from me to them, I'm not sure they always trust it. And, and that's, a, that's a tough thing. But, uh, you know, it, you hope, I guess my hope would be the NBA, when they go through this process, that they would get them better feedback, you know, whether it's an email or whatever. I, and I've been through it a long time, kids putting their names in. Um, I, I've learned, I've learned that it's, you know, be positive about it, make the, let them enjoy it because I got into, you know, as a young coach, uh, you know, I, why are you doing this? You know, it's, it's dumb. They're telling us this and then you lose the, your relationship with the young man and, and with the family. So you try to be as positive as possible, talk to them, help them grow, uh, learn and get something out of it. And, uh, it's, it's hard. It's hard, you know, for him to come back. He was, he was stressed. It was, a a long stretch. He did a bunch of workouts that wore him out, you know, and even coming now back, he, there's a lot of pressure on him because, you know, he has dreams and goals, but I keep talking about enjoy it, uh, make the most of it every day, worry about the process, don't worry about the destination. And, uh, you know, if you do that and it's meant to be, it's going to happen. And everybody's path and, you know, we've had Rodney Magruder go through the G League and, you know, end up on a roster now, a three-year, $50 million contract. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of things happen. So uh, just just keep working at it. If you believe you're good enough, put the time in, the work, and, and good things will happen. Any final question for Coach? Got one here in the middle, Luke. Logan Mans. Um K-State Online, did you learn anything from coaching USA basketball, and did you bring anything different from that to this coming season? Well, I, I was pretty happy and pleased. Obviously, not only won a gold, we won by a, a big margin. If you look at the plus minus, uh, you know, I think I, somebody else asked me this a while ago, I, what we do is, is good and, and, and it works. And, um, you know, I think I did, I think the thing I learned, and you're always learning as a coach, you know, trying to figure out roles and, and under making, and we had to do this in two weeks and get them to not only figure out a role, take pride in the role and make the most of that. And it, it wasn't easy. And uh, the guys we had from the big 12 um, on our team uh, were unbelievable. Uh, Tyrese and Isaac were unbelievable role models. They were great leaders. They really helped us. Uh, they kept trying to help me as a coach, stay patient, we'll be okay. Uh, but it was, you know, it was a great, obviously a great experience and to be part of that. And, and you know, a little bit of the fast pace of, of uh, FIBA basketball is, is different. So I think as a coach, you're always learning things. We, we've, got a, we've added some new sets that we saw that uh, the international teams have, uh, you know, used. And so I think that's, that all of it is a positive thing, but it's just a great experience. And I'm sure those guys, if you talk to them, uh, Lifetime memories and and got to be very proud that they they have a gold medal. Okay, coach. Thank you very much for your comments and good luck for the season.